Hello chess friends and welcome to Azar of Chess channel and welcome to my best chess games of all time series. So in this series we're following the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history and today I wanted to show you really great game played by Vasily Ivanchuk against Vladimir Kramnik back in 1996. So what to say about Vasily Ivanchuk, uh, he plays against Kasparov, he plays against Magnus, I think he never changes his um, uh, playing style which is really great, he plays always open Sicilian games, open games with some great tactical battles, that's why we love him that's how why we love him uh, we, lo we love his games uh, on the other hand Vladimir Kramnik is more of a tournament player he like to win tournaments uh, he like to play safe and uh, and uh, calm games but in this game uh, here Vladimir Kramnik will go into a tactical battle against Vasily Vanchuk and that's why I decided to show you this game it's really really a great tactical battle in the Sicilian in an open Sicilian uh, before we start to analyze the game I wanted to show you again the comment of the day that I uh, got from you uh, by my subscribers uh, here David Keller wrote uh, two days ago nothing is more satisfying for a Sicilian player to watch than this, to see the Maroxi getting crushed in style so he wrote that comment on my one of my videos in which I analyzed one of my games in which I played a double piece sacrifice uh, against the Maroxi setup of this uh, Sicilian and uh, yeah that's why uh, this comment is really great for this particular game that I wanted to show you today because uh, um, nothing is more annoying I think for me uh, than to place really this closed two closed positions and when you find maybe some tactical shots uh, in closed positions when you manage to get uh, the position open uh, open with some great great uh, positional advantage then of course you have a great feeling in chess that's why I really love this uh, comment by David Kerr so let's see the game uh, we have uh, Vasily here with the white pieces he played the move e4 we have c5 knight to f3 uh, and now we have knight to c6 after d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 and now knight to f6 we have knight to c3 it's really uh, most of line played in the Sicilian uh, both knights are out uh, here from blacks and whites perspective uh, white uh, has this pawn and now basically black chooses which opening uh, he will play he can go of course um, in this uh, d6 a6 uh, maybe the knight or four with the g6 move he can go into the dragon Sicilian or similar idea so in the game we have d6 uh, by Karamnik we have bishop to g5 now we have the Richter Rouser variation and now we have e6 this is uh, a very very often played um, um, setup of um, of blacks it's sort of a chevening style in which uh, uh, you have this great great and mobile pawn structure in the center and these pawns are restricting this very important four central squares for the white pieces so i think it's really compact and a good uh, opening against e4 in the game uh, queen to d2 was played by uh, vasily vanchuk and now a6 preventing some knight to b5 ideas and maybe uh, attacking this d6 we can explain the, this queen to d2 is also preparation for vasily vanchuk to castle queenside now in the game uh, uh, queenside castling played by uh, Ivanchuk and now we have h6 now we have bishop to e3 and uh, this bishop to e3 is a little bit provocative I think because uh, you may think that uh, maybe some knight to g4 ideas are dangerous but I think we can play now knight takes c6 and after b takes uh, c6 bishop to c5 is very very dangerous I think uh, if you for instance uh, play something like queen to g5 uh, this would be I think the main move now for um for black to play then of course you have to take out the queen because your uh, bishop was hanging here on c5 here h takes g5 can be played but now bishop to e2 and now after something like d takes c5 we have bishop takes g4 and uh, i still like uh, white's position more you see how weird the spawn structure is there are really uh, some weaknesses in black's position and uh, if i would play uh, now for white here i would play something like probably e5 knight to e4 and maybe try to cement this very very uh, weak d6 square you see this line is not so good so that's why after this move bishop to e3 uh chucky didn't go into this knight to g4 ideas because it simply doesn't bring you anything and here bishop to e7 uh, played by uh, kramnik we have uh, f4 you see how uh, chucky goes now into into the attack immediately uh, pushing pawns and uh, really uh, forcing now to uh, kramnik to go really in an open battle uh, here we have knight to d4 uh, bishop takes d4 and now b5 also common idea of um, 
of blacks to expand on the queen side the the immediate threat is of course to play the move b4 and then take out maybe here the pawn on e4 so that's why uh, queen to e3 was played by uh, Ivanchuk and now we have queen to c7 uh, preventing some e5 ideas because there is this square where the position could get cracked where the position could get open and here e5 played by uh, Chucky anyway so from this point on the game becomes really tactical it becomes really great uh, here uh, um, Kramnik simply took d takes e5. We have bishop takes e5, and it seems now that uh, maybe Kramnik has made some mistakes. Uh, the queen is endangered, the bishop gets a huge activity. We have now the possibility maybe to jump with our knight somewhere, uh, find some good squares. Uh, but in the game, um, Kramnik found a very nice move. He played the move uh, knight to g4, attacking both uh, the bishop uh, and the queen. For instance, if you play something like queen take uh, bishop takes the queen on c7, then we have knight takes e3 with a tempo on the rook and uh, i think black has a better position here because uh, it seem it's simply um, here the bishop can get on this better diagonal uh, still we can compete maybe here on the d file uh, many many possibilities still you have to do something with uh, with your rook maybe if you play rook to e1 attacking the knight then we can again cement the knight on a very active score on f5 so that's why after the move knight to g4 uh vasily played the move uh, queen to f3 attacking the rook and attacking the queen and what to do now you cannot uh, do anything here uh, you have to basically give up the rook and in the game knight takes e5 was played by uh, kramnik and here uh, vasily played the move queen to a8 and it seems now that kramnik mess has made some mistakes but it's really uh, a great line that uh, that uh, Kramnik has found here because in the next move he played the move knight to d7 with the preparation to play bishop to b7 and uh, if the position allows it then maybe even to trap the queen uh, with some bishop to c5 like this so you have to be careful and the best way now to continue uh, for white is here to play the move queen to e4 getting out of this mess uh, simply getting the queen back as fast as you can and still this is playable for both sides although uh, black can expand still with some b4 a5 uh, a4 ideas simply trying to open the position against white's king but here uh, after the move knight to d7 uh, i think vasily made a mistake he played the move uh, g3 opening the diagonal and there is this problem because now uh, the threat is of course to play the move bishop to b7 that's why knight to b6 first uh, here by ivanchuk uh, getting the queen first uh, out of this uh, eighth rank because now the bishop can play very actively so far the bishop couldn't couldn't play and now queen to f3 was played and now bishop to b7 and probably chucky thought that after the move knight to e4 everything is solved because uh, that was the uh, move that he played but now f5 uh here kramnik simply continued to push and now queen to h5 with a very dangerous check and now king to f8 played by kramnik and uh again this is really hard to evaluate uh, this position because um because uh, it seems that uh, kramnik has lost of course the ability to castle the rook will be stuck here in on, on this very weird square a, a h8 but uh, still you have some worries uh, on this diagonal you have to uh, cover your rook that's why uh, um, ivanchuk played here knight to f2 uh, protecting the rook taking out the rook is not such a good idea it leads into a simplified line because after knight takes h1 nothing special has happened still you have an endangered king and uh, that's why uh, Kramnik didn't go into this line he tried to stay with the pieces on the board after the move knight to f2 we have bishop to f6 and this is a great move uh, because it improves the position of the pieces uh, it, it improves the position of the bishop now these bishops are aiming on this best two diagonals all over the board these are they're really slicing the board and uh, this is now really really uh, dangerous position for white's king if you have noticed now uh, white doesn't have any more uh, the defenders uh, in front of the king he has only some pawns in front of the king and it's really really dangerous in the game uh, bishop to d3 played by uh, chucky and here uh, we have knight to a uh, a4 maybe uh, a better idea you see the problems about this move uh, 
bishop to d3 because there is this main threat after the move knight to f4 we have uh, rook to e1 that was all played in the game but now bishop to b2 so this is the problem that uh, here vasily has in the game of course you cannot play something like uh, here uh, c3 because uh, you get uh, uh, you cannot play c3 because you get knight takes b2 and you cannot take of course the the, the knight because you get a queen takes c3 and you get checkmated on g2 so uh, these are really this threats of blacks and maybe a better way would have been instead of the, this move bishop to d3 uh, to allow here black to jump maybe i think a better idea for ivanchik would have would have been to play the move queen to e2 getting at least another defender uh here around the white king after potential knight to a4 we could simply take maybe here the pawn on e6 here after something like bishop to b2 king to b1 okay you have maybe this move knight to c3 king takes and here knight takes knight takes d and here bishop takes h1 uh although black is up the exchange in this particular line uh, maybe it's playable because black is still uh, endangered the king is still endangered uh, but again it was really hard to see maybe this line for for vasily vanchuk to get this kind of a position and he maybe didn't realize all of the threats that uh, vladimir kramnik has prepared uh, after the move bishop to d3 so as said he didn't play the move queen to e2 knight to a4 was played and you see now how dangerous dangerous the position is you see the this c3 move doesn't work because you get knight takes b2 and then you get cracked here simply uh, uh, around the square c3 rook, rook to e1 was played and now bishop to uh, b2 with a check we have king to uh, b1 and now very important move bishop to d5 and now what to do here uh, there is uh, one uh, tactical threat that uh, Vasily has also prepared uh, his idea is now to take out here the pawn on b5 then to take out the uh, the bishop on d5 and maybe deliver checkmate here uh, on e8 so sneaky sneaky also here by Vasily Vanchuk uh, although uh, he is endangered here on Dark Wars and um, for instance queen to g6 doesn't work here because uh, here we have simply bishop to f6 it seems that you can go maybe and then attack black's king but now there is really the serious threat to play something like queen to c3 and queen to b2 so you you cannot do anything better that's why and after the move bishop to d5 chucky played bishop takes b5 and let's see now after a takes b5 if you for instance take then you get this move rook takes d5 so you see how dangerous and after uh, something like i don't know knight to c3 we have king to b2 okay you could take uh, the rook on uh, d5 but now rook to e6 and the problem is after queen to c3 you don't have any more checks yes uh, so here vasily ivanchuk has play, uh, prepared really a nice tactical line there are no more checks possible uh, for for black and i think uh, white is even better here in this position uh, but uh, after the move um, bishop takes b5 uh here vladimir kramnik found a very very nice tactical shot he played the move bishop takes a2 not allowing uh this trade of the of, of the bishop on d5 he simply played you have to take out the the bishop after uh, king takes a2 we have now finally uh b a takes b5 and now we have king to b1 let's for instance see some possibilities if you play uh, the move rook to e6 uh, it seems again that you're threatening checkmate here but now queen to uh, c4 is the main threat and the problem is you get checkmated here after king to b1 we have knight to c uh, c3 you have to take out uh, the uh, the bishop on b2 and now queen to b4 you have maybe king to c1 but now knight to a2 this is the prepared checkmate pattern that uh, vladimir kramnik has found here and this is now the main tactical idea how to checkmate here vasily Ivanchuk. so this is the mating pattern so you see this rook to e6 is a little bit too slow and that's why you cannot do that uh, in the game after uh, the move a takes b5 king to b1 as said was played by uh by vasily vanchuk uh, and here a uh, queen to a5 was played and uh, here maybe um, kramnik made uh, a slight inaccuracy he should have maybe played queen to e7 or something and getting the queen somehow to a3 immediately there is maybe this line which can 
solve some problems here for for Vasily Vanchuk. For instance, if you again play this move knight uh, rook takes e6, uh, then again you get this checkmate pattern. The same idea. Uh, this is the problem. Again, you get this knight to a2 motif. But uh, here maybe uh, instead of this rook to e6, you have the possibility to play maybe the move c3. And after knight takes c3, you have a king to b2. Now if you play knight to a4, uh, this check again, then you have Rook, uh, king to a2 and now what uh, black can do is just some perpetual checks here nothing special for instance if you play a passive move like queen to b4 then you have rook to d8 and i think this move could have solved uh, the position here for for vasily vanchuk after king to e7 uh, here rook to uh, e8 attacking the king you have to take out and now rook takes e6 after king takes e6 uh, takes e8 and maybe just maybe um, uh, in this position uh, if mm, for instance Vladimir Kramnik makes a slight inaccuracy this could may maybe be a draw uh, but uh, again Vasily Vanchuk didn't see this move uh, to play the move c3 instead of that he played uh, knight to d3 here instead of the c3 move he tried to get another defender in front of the king and basically from this point on the game is over because we have bishop to a3 you uh, let's see again this possibility if you try for instance rook takes e6 again you have this move knight to uh, c3 you get uh, your king on this uh, on this uh, a file but now we have bishop to c1 and it's a checkmate so you see uh, this rook to e6 idea never works uh, it's simply too slow uh, that's why after the move uh, bishop to a3 uh, here uh, king to a2 was played but now again it's game over we have knight to c3 we have uh, here king to b3 and now knight to d5 very very nice move closing the position and now uh, king to a2 was played for instance again let's see a potential rook to e6 move you get simply queen to a4 again uh, king to a2 we have knight to c3 again the same checkmate pattern with the move bishop to c1 so that's why after the move uh, king to a2 so no, no rook to e6 was played here uh, bishop to b4 discover check we have king to b1 and now bishop to c3 with the preparation to checkmate here on uh, a1 and in this position vastly ivanchuk resigned there is maybe an idea you can try knight to b2 uh, to cover everything but now queen to b4 and it's game over because you cannot prevent uh, this checkmate and uh, vastly ivanchuk realized that as said after the move bishop to c3 uh, the legendary chucky resigned the game Pooh. Great, great uh, attack here by v Vladimir Kramnik. What I liked here uh, is this move after uh, bishop to b5. You see how uh, Chucky also prepared this great, great tactics to play the move rook to d5. Uh, here, uh, Kramnik didn't fail for that. He played a very nice bishop sacrifice. Bishop takes a2 and get this attack rolling and won the game with a very, very nice, in this very nice tactical battle. Okay, uh, at the end of the video, uh, I wanted to again thank you for some contributions to, to my channel. Here, Will Clipson um, wrote me, I appreciate your videos. I'm studying, I'm studying one or two uh, a day. I will send you a couple of questions via Messenger. So thank you again, uh, Will Clipson. You can send me your questions, of course, also uh, on my Facebook page, or you can text me uh, per email, or how do you like. You can also sometimes call me. I uh, have also uh, had also some great conversations with my subscribers on Facebook, on Skype, on, on every uh, social media, and I really sometimes enjoy uh, your your conversations, your discussions about chess because the talking about chess is also important, uh, like playing chess. So, okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed it a lot. When Vivanchuk plays, I enjoy basically every game. If you watch, you want to watch more. Uh, content like this uh, check out my other best chess games of all time with some more best chess games played in history and you can also watch my best chess games played by computers with some alpha zero lila zero stockfish games and many many more and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thanks you for watching guys and chess is the best of course